I want to talk to you briefly about how I made this couple $100,000 with about an $8,000 investment in less than two weeks. It's that easy. Like I've said in other videos before, people think they just got to put their homes on the market and hope they get a good price. They don't realize that if they work with a good agent, that agent's going to go through the house, tell them exactly what needs to be done, where to spend a little bit of money to get the most bang for your buck. This couple's going to spend about $8,000 and make close to a hundred grand. And where can you make that sort of money in the stock market? Absolutely not. In crypto, maybe. Super lucky if you do. Vegas? <laughs> no, real estate. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor in LA County. And if you're looking to sell your home and you want to get the most bang for your muck, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I'll give you some great ideas. And if you're not in LA County and you want a great agent, I can refer you. I have a referral business all around America and the world, and I can get you a great agent who works like myself and is gonna get you the most bang for your buck. That's what we need when we are selling homes. The sun's finally come out in sunny Southern California, so I've turned around so I'm not facing it. So this listing right now is in Long Beach. The couple's family or kids live up near Portland. They're gonna sell, be closer to the grandkids, closer to their kids. It's kind of what everyone's doing right now. A lot of people leaving California, as you know. They went up there on a whim, found a house they loved and had to sell fast. They said, Matt, we really need to get as close to a million dollars as we can in order to finance the home up in Portland. I said, well, look, right now, if you sell the home as is, you're not even gonna make 900 grand. They said, we need a million. I said, all right, are you willing to trust me? Are you willing to let me do what I need to do? Give me a budget of less than 10 grand and I will get you that $100,000 extra that you need. They said, Matt, absolutely, let's do it. And this is what I did. First of all, painting. You have to paint a home. They had had furniture against the walls for 20 years. When we moved that furniture, bookcases, couches, there was scuffs, there was cracks all over the walls. We got a painter in, couple of days, $1,500, made it look amazing. Swiss coffee, I love Swiss coffee when I paint homes. Sometimes if you use too bright a white, it's too stark, it's not great. Swiss coffee, alabaster in some brands, is the color for you. Also, the front of the house, the window sills hadn't been painted for decades. We came in, did a bit of touch-up work, painted the porch, painted the windows. Curb appeal of a home is so important. For that reason, we also did some landscaping, bought some plants, added some color, did some trimming. It's not huge. It's not a great expense, but you get such a lot of money in return. Loved it. They have a really nice deck in the backyard. You can sit out there in the summer or even in the winter or in the spring in California. Put your feet up, read a book, have a cocktail, but the deck was weathered. The wind, the rain over the last couple of years or probably 10 years had destroyed it. We went in, did some sanding, did some varnish. Didn't cost much, about $500. Look at it now compared to what it was. Unbelievable. The sellers have an amazing master bedroom. It's huge, huge ensuite bathroom as well. But once again, the bed, the furniture, the walls were so scuffed. They didn't want to spend any money on painting it. I said, we have to paint this one wall. Let's paint the inside of this huge closet. They said, okay, it costs about $400. The difference is unbelievable. $400 to make this room pop. You have to do it, trust me. Doors needed some touch up paint. On the inside, some window seals. In their son's bedroom, we needed a patch. It's only little jobs, but there's lots of them, but you have to take care of it. Sellers or buyers actually are gonna notice this stuff. They, when they walk through, they're looking at it as their home. They're gonna spot the small things. We have to make it perfect. And that's what we did at not much cost to the sellers. To start with, I had a cleaner come in. He was here for nine hours. We cleaned the fridge, all the cupboards, the baseboards, the floors, everything. It hadn't been cleaned for a while. This made it unbelievable. Just the smell was beautiful. A deep clean on a home, $250, absolutely necessary, money well spent. People often forget about the windows. A window cleaner doesn't seem like a very popular choice anymore. Is it a thing of the past? I don't know why I love window cleaners. $250, they came in, cleaned all the windows, cleaned all the grills, cleaned all the window seals. Unbelievable, $250, well worth it. 
They had curtains up. It kind of made the house look a little old fashioned, a little old. I love the blinds, I kept them up. But all I did was take the uh, curtains down, take the poles down, not a big job. Took me 20 minutes, makes a huge difference. When selling a home, if you ask me, when it comes to the interior of the home, less is more. Take down all the family photos when people are looking at your home. It's hard for them to imagine the home as theirs if all they're seeing is hundreds of family photos from a family they don't even know. Also, another tip, if you're just about to sell your home and you're gonna have people look at it, don't cook a dinner like a curry or, or a dinner that smells really fragrant. They might not like that smell. And when they look at the home, if they don't like the smell of the home, they're not gonna like the home. I don't care how nice that home is. People are very strange sometimes. So don't cook any smelly dinners before you show your home. So after all the painting, landscaping, deck, cleaning, all the other things, the little tidbits that we did, the final icing on top, which you have to do when selling your home if you want the most bang for your buck, if you ask me, is staging and don't do a cheap stage. There's lots of stages out there who will do a, steep, a, a cheap stage, $2, $2.50 a square foot. My stager, $3.50 a square foot, $5,000 to stage this home. Sounds like a lot of money. A lot of people always say that's way too much. That five grand guarantee you has made them $40,000. Staging a home, top quality stage is unbelievable do not sell a vacant home with no furniture you are going to get so much less money i promise you i've staged so many homes uh, about 50 percent of the homes i sell haven't sold the first time around and guess what they're often vacant with nothing in it buyers going in spending five six seven two million dollars on a home they need to see what it can look like they need to see it at its best in order to spend that huge amount of money a home that has no furniture, they can't use their imagination, it will not sell. $5,000 will make you 30, 40, 50, 100 grand depending on the house, trust me. And here we are, finally, we're about to sell. Beautiful photographs, beautiful video. Wanna see what it's like now? Wanna see how I took a house that would sell for about 880 and sell it for 980? $100,000 with an $8,000 investment in less than two weeks? Here we go. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so quick update. We've got nine offers, four over a million. Ended up with an all cash buyer, 1 million and 15,000. So as you can see, staging the home, like I said, probably made 50, 60, $70,000. It was that important. Um, hope you enjoy the video and check out the finished product.